Good morning, students. In previous class, we have discussed about early revolts against British rule in Tamil Nadu. In that lesson, we discussed Marudu brothers, who were called the Marudu brothers, Periy Marudu and Chinna Marudu, called as the Marudu brothers. When uh, when was Periy Marudu born? Periy Marudu was born in the year 1748 and died in the year 1801. Then Chinna Marudu, when was born? He was born in the year 1753 and died in the year 1801. Then we discussed rebellions of Marudu brothers against the British rule. So which year started means they started the rebellions against the British rule in the year 1800 to 1801. Then proclamation of 1801, fall of Sivagangai, then Carnatic Treaty. 1801 according to the treaty of carnatic the british assumed direct control over tamilagam and the palekar system came to an end with the demolition of the all forts and disbandment of the army then we discussed deeran chinnamalai Deeran Chinnamalai, 1756. Deeran Chinnamalai was born in 1756 and died in the year 1805 Then we discussed Vellur Revolt. Vellur Revolt when was started means Vellur Revolt was started in the year eighteen not six. Then what are the grievances of the Indian soldiers? Uh, British the Indian soldiers they were prohibited in the religious mark. Religious mark means they are prohibited uh, religious mark on the forehead. So uh, grievances of the Indian soldiers then outbreak of the revolt. So started the revolt against the British in the year eighteen not six July ten. Then we discussed. Jealous by brutality, consequence of the revolt, estimate of the revolt. Today class, we are going to discuss India resources and industries. In this lesson, we are going to learn what are resources and its types, then types of industries, and the distribution of industries, and to analyze the problems of Indian industries in India. First, you say. what are natural resources what is natural resources all material we obtain from the nature to satisfy our daily needs for example air water sunlight soil minerals coal petroleum plants and animals these are the natural resources we use this resources either directly or indirectly for their survival then What are uh, natural resources can be divided into two types. What are they? Renewable and non-renewable resources. Already we discussed in eighth standard what is non-renewable resources or renewable resources. Now we are going to see what is renewable resources. Renewable resources means we can that we can used or that we can reproduced again, again and again. For example, air, water, sunlight, soil, solar energy, wind energy, biogas, tidal energy, wave energy, etc. Or the renewable resources. What is renewable resources? We can reproduce again and again. It's called as the renewable resources. So these resources we can be reproduced again. After utilization, once we used, we can reproduce again. But time taken to differ from one resources to another resources. For example, agriculture crops take a short time for renewal. Other like water uh, takes a comparatively longer time. Why still other likes forests take even longer time. So next we are going to see minerals. What is minerals? minerals is a natural substance of organic or inorganic with definite chemical and physical properties the process of extracting minerals from the earth crust is known as mining the mines near the earth crust are known as the open pit mines while the deep mines are known as the shaft mines then we are going to see types of minerals based on the how they are dividing the minerals so based on the chemical and physical properties minerals are divided into two 
metallic minerals and non metallic minerals what is metallic minerals metallic minerals which contains one or more metallic elements in them metallic minerals again divided into two ferrous and non ferrous what is ferrous ferrous minerals means ferrous minerals having more iron content or called ferrous minerals for example iron manganese nickel and tungsten or the ferrous minerals because uh, this minerals having more iron content non ferrous minerals what is non ferrous minerals non ferrous minerals means which do not have iron content or called non ferrous minerals example gold silver and copper or the non ferrous minerals now we are going to see metallic minerals first one is iron ore iron ore is the most widely distributed element in the earth crust from how was formed the iron ore means it's formed from igneous and metamorphic rocks it is rich in iron oxide iron ore is usually found in the form of magnetite hematite goethite limonite and siderite magnetite and hematite are called as direct shipping ore because of its best export quality among the world countries china is a leading producer of iron ore followed by australia export more iron ore to various countries in india jargon jargon is a leading producer of iron ore jargon is alone produced 25 percentage of the iron ore in india followed by odisha is producing 21 percentage iron ore then chatishkar is producing magnetite magnetite 18 percentage andhra pradesh and tamil nadu only produced only 5 percentage of iron ore in tamil nadu we found the iron ore in the district of selam madurai tirunelveli trishrapalli and coimbatore sail sail which means steel authority of india limited it is functioning under the ministry of mines is responsible for planning and development iron and steel industries in india next we are going to discuss about manganese what is the color of manganese manganese is a silvery gray element it is very hot metal in its it's a very important minerals for making iron and steel industries it is also used in manufacturing of bleaching powder paints and uh, batteries india stands fifth place in the production of manganese manganese ore and uh, odisha is the largest producer of manganese followed by the states of karnataka andhra pradesh jharkhand rajasthan gujarat telangana and west bengal then next mool what is the full abbreviation of mool manganese ore india limited is uh, responsible for the production and distribution of the manganese ore in india the next we are going to see is copper next one is copper copper is the first metal used by the prehistoric man prehistoric period being copper is uh, being flexible flexible in nature it is used for making cooking utensil nowadays it is it is extensively used in variety of electrical machineries wires and cables etc rajasthan rajasthan leads in the producing production of copper in india followed by the states of jharkhand madhya pradesh karnataka telangana andhra pradesh and tamil nadu so copper is a good conductor of electricity so it is used in electrical machineries the next we are going to see bauxite bauxite is an important ore from which uh, aluminum is extracted it is available in laterite soil as uh, aluminum is lighter weight and it is used in manufacture of 
aircraft and automobile engines and also used in the manufacturing of cement and chemicals. Odisha, Odisha is the leading producer of bauxite and followed by the states of Jharkhand, Madhya Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. Now we will discuss about some of the non-metallic minerals. What is non-metallic minerals? These minerals do not contain minerals in them. Example, uh, example for non-metallic minerals, mica is one of the non-metallic minerals. Mica, limestone, gypsum, uh, nitrate, coal, petroleum, etc. These are the non-metallic minerals. First we discussed uh, metallic minerals. What are the metallic minerals? Iron ore is the metallic minerals. Then we discussed manganese is the metallic minerals. Copper is the metallic minerals. is the now we are going to discuss non-metallic minerals. What are the non-metallic minerals? Mica is the non-metallic minerals. So first we are going to see the non-metallic minerals. Uh, the non-metallic minerals in the ancient time. Mica. Mica is the non-metallic minerals. Mica was used in the Ayurvedic medicine. Abrock is a good quality. Mica which is different color like yellow, white, black, red. Black is used for medicine purpose as mica is a elastic in nature and a non-conductor of electricity. You know mica is, mica is a bad conductor of electricity so it is used in many manufacturing electrical goods. It is also used in making of medicine making of medicine. India contribute about 60% of the mica production in the world. Major mica producing states of India are Andhra Pradesh, Jharkhand, Bihar and Rajasthan. It is also used in making of medicines, paints and varnish. Next non-metallic mineral is limestone. Limestone usage is, no, is not a new innovation for, uh, for India. Limestone is composed of rocks, calcium carbonate or the double carbonate of calcium and magnesium. So like a limestone, it is used in chemical industries and also making bleaching powder, paper, cement, iron and steel, glass and fertilizers etc. So Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Tamil Nadu are the leading producer of limestone in India. The next one is gypsum. Gypsum is a common mineral and has a great commercial value. It is a available. So this mineral gypsum is available from the sedimentary rocks. It is transported minerals and it is also used in fertilizers and cement as a chalk chalk dry walls and even as a dental stones Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu Gujarat, Himachal Pradesh Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh and Matri Pradesh are the major producer of gypsum in India next we are going to see energy resources as we already discussed energy resources and uh, uh, energy resources forms an important problem. The resources from which the electricity generated are called as the energy resources. Electricity generated as energy resources. Day-to-day -day activities are carried out only with the help of the energy resources. They play an important role economic and industrial development of the nation. Based on the availability, it can be divided into two renewable energy resources and non-renewable energy resources. Now we are going to discuss about some of the non-renewable energy resources like coal, petroleum or crude oil and natural gas. Coal. Coal, first of coal. Coal is composed of hydrocarbons from the sedimentary rocks. It is also called as the black gold. Gold is coal is called as uh, called as black gold. It is it can be converted into gas, oil, and electricity. It is found primarily in Gondwana land from this Farms Peninsula, India. 
based on the carbon content it classified into four types based on the carbon content coal divided into four types what are they coal anthroxide anthroxide 80 to 90 percentage of the carbon content bituminous 60 to 80 percentage of carbon content lignite 40 to 60 percentage of carbon content peat less than 40 percentage of carbon Indian lignite which is also called as the brown coal is available in the places like Tamil Nadu. In Tamil Nadu, Neveli is lignite. Mines are there in Neveli, Kerala, particularly in peninsular India. Jharkhand is the largest chlor uh, coal producing states in the country followed by the states of Odisha, West Bengal, Madhya Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh and Maharashtra or the leading producer of coal in India. Next one is petroleum or crude oil. Petroleum is derived from two Latin words called as petro and oleum. Petro means rocks. Oleum means oil. This petroleum is a mineral oil. It is obtained from rocks of the earth. Petroleum is used as the main sources of energy for automobile industry, locomotive industries, shipping industries and also used for the production of kerosene, tar and soap industries. In India, it is available in both on shore and on shore and the offshore areas. The Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas is responsible for the production of Protection, distribution, marketing, Im marketing, import and export of India. Next, we are going to discuss about natural gas. What is natural gas? Natural gas, it is naturally acquiring hydrocarbon. Hydro, how is how was formed natural gas? Natural gas formed by the decomposed of plants and animals or exposed to intense heat and pressure over the thousands of years natural gas are used heating cooking even as electricity generator natural gas gas authority of india limited it is responsible for processing and distribution of natural gas in india Mumbai has highest concentration of natural gas in India. Recently, it has been found the delta of Godavari and Krishna or more natural gas resources. Remaining, remaining I'll teach in the next class, conventional energy sources, then renewable energy sources, then industries, then types of industries, so types of industries, agro-based industries, forest based industries mineral based industries next class i will teach this today class uh, we discussed about resources what does mean by resources renewable resources non renewable resources there are two types of resources renewable means reproduced again and again is called as the renewable resources non renewable resources means once we used we cannot reproduce again and again after utilization then we discussed what is minerals types of minerals then we discussed energy resources energy resources we discussed led to petroleum petroleum and natural gas thank you students